There's nothing like coming home from school or work, firing up your console of choice, and settling in for your nightly gaming session of Fortnite. That is until you find out you are banned and panic mode sets in. While I do think some of these kids throwing fits is pretty funny, not everyone deserves the ban hammer. I mean, there is kids who think it's the funniest thing in the world to scream into their microphone and to outright cheat just so they can brag to their friends in school the next day and feel better about themselves. And unfortunately, these kids aren't going to go away anytime soon. But thankfully, Epic knows how to deal with what is arguably the worst thing about online gaming. And in this list, we're going to take a look at the top 10 kids who got banned from Fortnite. Before I get started, don't forget to drop a like down below and hit subscribe so you can keep up with our daily Fortnite videos. Also, I respond to everyone in the comments, so if you had a favorite reaction to getting banned, or you have gotten banned yourself, let me know down below. If you don't, just say what's up! Number 10 Sometimes the video game gods act in mysterious ways, and in this case, maybe they saw this kid's future to be one filling everyone with annoyance. Oh, what the f did I do? And so they decided to act then and there and ban him. Oh, oh, what the hell? Did you get banned? No, but seriously, glitches are a common occurrence in any video game, and Fortnite Battle Royale is no exception. As evidenced in this clip, where a kid player is suddenly banned with no explanation from both himself and his teammates. Oh, oh what the hell? <laughs> yup, there it is. Did you get banned? Wait. Did you get banned? <gasps> You got banned! Dude, what the f did I do? What happened? Don't bother trying to solve this one for yourself either, as YouTubers have commented wondering what exactly this kid did to get banned. In the end, we may never know, but one thing's for sure. If he didn't annoy anyone then while playing the game, no doubt he'd probably end up annoying someone in the future. So call this ban a blessing in disguise. Number 9. Chalk this ban up as an error on Epic's part. Fortnite Battle Royale implements an anti-cheater system which looks for cheats and loopholes players can take advantage of while playing the game to get ahead, such as flight or teleportation. While it could offer none of these advantages, the famous Fortnite tire swing, which players could hop on and look like they're having a goofy and glitchy time, triggered the game's anti-cheat system into thinking players were cheating by hopping around on the swing, and simply banned them for it. Wait, jump on, jump on the tire, man, jump on the tire. Oh, what the was I banned? <laughs> I got banned. <laughs> Yo, were you banned? Thankfully, Epic has since fixed the issue and have allowed those who were previously banned due to this back into the game. Number 8. Kids come in all ages and sizes, and in the case of Mo, a former popular Twitch streamer, unfortunately caught the ban hammer from Epic. In one of his earlier sessions of playing Fortnite Battle Royale, the game just outright permanently banned him for cheating. What just happened? What happened? Where are you? Hey, you disappeared. Wait, you haven't. What the f? How am I. Ch it says I've been permanently banned due to cheating. Why you got banned? How is this a thing? <laughs> Bro, look at this. I'm banned for cheating. Bro, I just. Wait, it just said you got struck by the ban hammer. How? What does that mean? Fuck. Message him? Bro, literally. Oh my god, I need to- <laughs> I literally just started playing, I have no idea. This is I was just talking about- Bro, this game is actually f***ing ins- What? What's happening with me? Thing is, he didn't actually do any cheating at all. He was just merely in the middle of landing on the map in the beginning of a match when a glitch caused him to get perma-banned. While it certainly seems unfair in this particular case, Mo has a history of being accused of cheating on other online games. I'm gonna flash my for you, James. You want to stop it? Got one stairs? One of us all in the cross. Nice, Mo. And clear up And in June of 2018, he was indefinitely banned from Twitch for using a homophobic slur. Guess some kids just never grow up. Number 7. Pro gamer Zacubus was infamously banned during a major league gaming tournament for Fortnite when he was caught teaming with another player during a solo game. For those of you who don't know, teaming in Fortnite is when you team up with an enemy player during a solo round, where in that game mode, it's expected of you to attack and take out the other player. In Zacubus' case, him and a gamer going by the name of Pixel avoided each other and worked together. That's you, isn't it, Pixel? So the rule's not going to be overturned. The adamant that this was a form of uh, teaming, 
which I guess it kind of was, avoiding each other uh, until a later time. Which would be fine if they were playing duos, but they weren't. And Zacubus was caught red-handed and was subsequently banned from Fortnite live during a Major League Gaming tournament. A little part of me is happy about this because I know I'm not the only one that really, really hated in solo matches getting jumped by two people and you had no idea what was going on and then they dance on your body. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this one. Number six, killing teammates is one of the oldest offenses of online gaming. And even in Fortnite, this annoyance continues to exist. Well, let's thank Epic for taking away team damage early on in Fortnite because I don't know if I could bear the trolling from friends every time my health was low. And trust me, you should be glad too. But a few seasons ago, whether it be kids just merely trolling their teammates for a cheap laugh, or to take a teammate's superior weapon, or my favorite, killing them when they're already so weak that when you revive them, they have more health than before. Killing teammates is certainly a classic go-to to get the heavy ban hammer smashed upon your Epic Games account. But you have to wonder what today's trolling content would look like if team killing was still around. Man, it would be gold. Number five. While killing teammates is definitely one way to get your account banned, glitching is just one notch above that offense. But it's certainly just as old, from trying to find ways to unfairly fly or teleport around the map, to this instance of kids going under the map and just waiting it out until their last one's remaining and winning by an unfair default. Glitching in Fortnite takes the fun away from not only the cheaters, but to the other players as well. And in the end, when Epic bans kids for doing this, you just gotta wonder, was it really worth it for them to use a glitch just so they could brag to their friends about it at lunchtime? I guess a Fortnite player street cred of how many games they've won goes a long way in middle school nowadays. Number four. This kid playing Fortnite received a temporary five day ban after he was caught teaming with enemy players. An offense similar to that of his adult professional gaming counterpart, Zacubus. Yet, what more of a mature way for this kid to vent about breaking the rules and trying to earn pity points than by going on a Snapchat rant using a filter that made his mouth look like he got stung by the furies of mini bees. I'm sure his parents must be proud. Number 3. Sometimes a good prank goes a long way to teach a lesson. And in the case of popular online gamer Keen Kenny, that's exactly what happened after his little brother went on a tirade that included smashing a bottle over Kenny's head. And while that part seemed staged, Kenny's little brother's legitimate reaction to logging onto Fortnite only to find that he'd been banned for aggressive behavior, despite not realizing that it was a video his brother made to fool him, only made the prank that much more admirable, as we finally get to see sweet justice inflicted upon his brother. To quote Jay Walter Weatherman from Arrested Development, that's why you never smash a glass bottle over your older brother's head. Number two. Who knew that by cheating in a game that you could end up getting sued by its developer? Well, that's exactly what happened to a 14 year old kid who would live stream and brag about cheating while playing Fortnite Battle Royale. Yup, instant headshot again. Uh, he, and he just shot at somebody that you couldn't even see. Uh, yup, another one. Another one, yeah, he's 100% cheating oh my god which was evidence enough for epic games themselves to lob a hundred fifty thousand dollar lawsuit that kid's way but is this a case of epic going too far though would a simple ban suffice as a parent how do you even begin to react to that kids are supposed to get in trouble for cheating while taking a test in school not while playing a mind-numbing video game no one grounds their kids for that and at least they didn't used to what a time to be alive power to the player i guess number one popular youtuber the new adam b99 Known for his videos which include pranks, outdoes King Kenny by making his own little brother Callum think that he's been perma-banned from Fortnite Battle Royale. Sneaking into Callum's room when he's walked away after firing up the game and waiting for it to load, Adam puts a USB drive into his little brother's PS4 and opens up a photoshopped image that says Callum's account has been banned due to cheating. From there, chaos ensues for his little brother as he walks back into his room, sees the image, I didn't cheat. Callum, did you cheat? No, I don't know how to cheat. Well, they don't buy me for nothing. I don't know. I didn't cheat. You must have cheated, Kim. I haven't cheated. What did you do? Did you, did you get banned? What, what cheating did you do? I hope you don't do anything bad. I didn't. You do know that this means you can't play Fortnite ever again. Ever. And has a meltdown of confusion and anger as his older brother captures it all on film. Including him rolling around his bed trying to figure out just what cheat he did to get him kicked off Fortnite for good. It's all in good fun though, as Adam shows Callum in the end that it was merely all a prank, and he can log back into the game and continue to have fun, up until the next prank his older brother pulls on him, 
Like maybe switching the PS4 for one that will self-destruct after he loads up Fortnite. I mean, a, a man can dream, can he?